Hello everybody, I'm putting together a short little instructional video on the AWS Academy on how to uh, get into the Academy and navigate around and where to find things, especially the sandbox. Uh, a lot of students have issues in uh, finding these things. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So I am in my dashboard. Let me get into um, a class. In this case, it's going to be the architect associate class. And I'm going to go ahead and go to student view. So you see, I see what you see. So here in the student view, you have your navigation here on the left hand side. Almost everything is found in modules. Okay. So with that, let's talk about where the sandbox is first. So I know that uh, some of the assignments may require you to go into the sandbox and, and do things and set things up. So, and it's a little tricky to find. So if you go to modules and you scroll all the way down past all the different modules, you will find it at the very, very, very bottom. It says sandbox. Okay, and if you just click on that sandbox environment, again, you click on modules, you scroll all the way down, click on sandbox environment, this will launch the sandbox environment. Now, at first it may freeze on you and it might take a little bit of time to get set up and running, that's okay. All right, just give it a moment. If it does not work, you can always um, refresh. There we go. So you may have to refresh once for it to, to kick in. Okay, you get all the terms and conditions, yada, yada, yada. Just scroll to the bottom of that and click I agree. All right, and here you are in the sandbox. So from this, uh, it gives you a little bit of information. On the right-hand side, you have um, a command line for AWS console. So if you need, if, or if you want to do anything within AWS console, here's your AWS console right here. You can set in commands and, and, and everything like that. Just like if you had had AWS console installed on your own PC. Okay. And on the left, the sandbox overview kind of tells you what you can and cannot do uh, within the sandbox, what services, what AWS services are available. Uh, not everything is available, but you can um, uh, set things up. It also tells you how, how to get into devices with uh, an EC2 instance, uh, with, I'm sorry, via SSH into an EC2 instance for both Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, okay? So what you do next to get into the actual AWS console is you will go ahead and click uh, Start Lab. And that will take a few minutes to spin up the console and everything. Once it starts spinning, you'll hit AWS. So I'm gonna pause the recording here real quick. Oh, no, I don't have to pause it. Here it goes. Okay, so we'll go to the lab creation. You'll see this screen and it will say, hey, the lab is ready. Then you can exit out of that screen when it says that, and then you hit AWS and go into the console itself. So we'll just give it a few minutes here. And please note that every time you go into the sandbox, you have 240 minutes, which is four hours for those of you who are, who are, who are counting, four hours to go in and do things and play around and set things up, tear things down, et cetera. So I'll pause the recording here real quick. And we'll come back when this is ready. So after that spins for a while, it will come up and say, hey, lab status is ready. All right, so once you get this notification here, go ahead and click on the X in the upper right-hand corner. Your console is still here, so you can do everything in the console that you want You want to, but all you have to do next to, to get to the AWS UI console is click on AWS, and that takes you to 
the AWS Management Console. And here you can do all kinds of stuff that you need to do for any of your labs or what have you, if you want to do it outside. A lot of the labs we have within the Architect Associate um, class, just like the Practitioner class, um, you go through the same steps to set up the lab. You don't have to do it in the sand sandbox. They already have the environments already set up for you. This is more for you to play around with more than anything else. So good luck with this. I hope you have fun. Uh, explore, uh, learn lots, and uh, we'll see you next time.